If you're like most Americans, you will need to use eyeglasses in order to see. But are eyeglasses actually good for you? And do they help your eyes get stronger? No. The simple truth of the matter is, is that eyeglasses actually deteriorate your eyes over time. Of course, it's, you're not going to notice it right away. What you may notice right away is that you have frequent headaches, which sometimes can be the result of using plastic frames. Um, because they're not like curved so that's a possibility of why some people then can get migraines um, but yeah using eyeglasses really will create a lazy eye because see your eyes fluctuate throughout the day when you aren't using glasses so your vision isn't going to be the same constantly throughout the day which means that your vision will actually be better at some parts of the day than other parts of the day probably the vision will be better when your eyes are less strained during periods of the day but what glasses do is they have a fixed um, they're basically fixed in that when you put them on you're always seeing whatever they were designed for you to see the prescription that you have so you're not really strengthening your eyes your eyes are just looking through these things and it's making you making your vision appear better but when in reality it's actually um, weakening your eyes because you aren't strengthening the eye muscles and then over time your vision will actually get worse uh, because I was diagnosed with astigmatism in one of my eyes when I was very young, probably, I don't know, maybe seven or eight years old, maybe ten, can't really say, but I was pretty young, and they said that I needed to wear glasses, but I never liked to wear them, and I never really did. I always took them off, because I figured, you know, I could see fine and whatnot. And it's true, I don't have 20-20 vision, so if I put glasses on right now that can allow me to see 20-20, of course I can see more detail and everything's more vivid and looks better. But, um, I seem to do fine without wearing the glasses. I mean, sure, my vision isn't perfect, but I have noticed that from avoiding the use of glasses, my vision doesn't seem to have really got that much worse. So, this is very important because that means that the longer you can go without wearing glasses that's that's great that means you won't have to, to use them because as you know there's some people that are older that couldn't see anything if they were to take their eyeglasses off so just the fact that I'm able to not wear glasses and still be able to read you know and do my daily activities without using them is pretty significant and it's pretty powerful. And you know, there's very simple things you can do in order to improve your vision. One of the best things you can do right now is to go to eBay, okay, www.ebay.com, and purchase pinhole readers. And what they are, are these black glasses with holes in them, in the frames. And you put them on and you wear them for 15 minutes every day and they will strengthen your eyes. They will improve your eyesight. And it's very cheap. You can buy a pair for $3. That's it. Um, don't get scammed by going to some other natural websites and paying like $20 or $15 for them. They're ripping you off when you can buy them right on eBay. Um, but yeah, just simply wearing those pinhole readers have been actually shown to help strengthen the eyes, which will thus result in improved vision. The other one is the Bates method, where you use eye exercises, so you'll move your eyes around in different patterns, you know, you'll put your palms over your eyes, anything to really strengthen the eye muscles by doing these certain exercises and reducing eye strain, so that's another technique that will be incorporated in improving your vision. And then on top of that, a lot of people using the computer. And one of the best tricks 
that I've learned in order to help improve your vision is to actually reduce the font on the computer screen something very small so whatever it's at now reduce it by like one or two so that the font is smaller and then over time your eyes will gradually be able to read that and then once you're strengthening your eyes good enough and you can see that reduce it again until you're reading really really tiny small font so that way instead of having to get larger font you're reversing it and you're going smaller and smaller and smaller so then when you're out in the real world right you can be able to see little tiny letters which most people aren't because that's one of the main tests that they do when you take uh, when you go to the eye doctor is they make you read off a chart so if you're already training your eyes when you're on your computer to look at really small font you will be able to dramatically I believe increase the chance of being able to see the very small fine print um, that you have to read off of so that that's a very simple um, trick you can also use so I should also mention that it's equally important to stay away from big font because the larger you keep increasing the font um, the harder it's going for you to see the smaller font um, especially if you have any type of eye disorder or whatnot so you really want to strengthen the eyes and the way to do that is to exercise them you know put them through scrutiny if you will you know the only way like you can build up your body and muscles is by working them out hard well if you don't then they lose their strength your muscles will lose their strength and you know you'll become weaker <clears throat> and the same is true for our eyes if we don't put our eyes through these hard workouts but we make them more lazy the eyes will become lazy and they won't be able to function optimally so we can't actually do things every day to kind of put our eyes through like this challenge course and, and strengthen them by doing these different methods here so you have that and probably the other single most important thing as well you can do to help your improve your vision is by eating a healthy diet fruits vegetables you know just whole foods naturally grown and raised but there's certain foods and nutrients that are actually specifically good for the eyes and one of those is kale. See, kale is loaded with lutein and zeaxanthin, which are two powerful carotenoids that also form the macula or center of your eye's retina, the same area that deteriorates in age-related macular degeneration, or AMD for short. Several studies show a link between eating foods high in lutein and zeaxanthin and a lower risk of AMD. These carotenoids protect your eyes from oxidation, a main culprit in macular degeneration. They also absorb harmful blue ultraviolet light as it enters your eye before it damages delicate eye tissue. The same action may ward off cataracts too. A new lab study showed lutein and zeaxanthin protected eye lens cells from ultraviolet light. In fact, they were almost 10 times more powerful at guarding against UV rays than vitamin E. And you want to aim for like 6 milligrams of lutein per day in your diet. But you can get even more than that, and I would encourage people to include even more. So a quarter cup, a cup, or just make a gigantic green smoothie and just add a bunch of kale in there. And watch your vision and naturally improve. So kale is number one. Number two would be blueberries. Blueberries are very great at improving your vision and protecting your eyes. Remember that our eyes, our eyes see color. So in order to strengthen these eyes through our diet, we need to eat a lot of colorful foods because that is what our eyes see. And so I believe that the more colors that we eat in the form of antioxidants, because that's what gives foods their color, these antioxidants, 
they help to protect the eyes from damage and also help to strengthen them. It has a youthening, rejuvenating effect on the body, as well as it does on skin and hair. And it just slows down the aging process. So, they're protectors. You gotta think of them as protectors, and you gotta think that, okay, we see color when we're looking at things, so if we eat more color, that maybe, you know, that'll help us be able to see more vividly, more colorfully, more brightly, you know, more sharply. And I believe there's truth to that. Because obviously people that eat a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruits, a lot of colors in their diet, seem to have less problems with their eyes. So diet is key. And of course there's other things like vitamin C, which is great for your nervous system. A lot of times people have when they have problems with astigmatism, it can sometimes result from a nervous system disorder. And vitamin C helps the nervous system, which thus can help the eyes. So vitamin C, vitamin E, zinc, there's many different nutrients. But in a nutshell, just eat natural, whole, healthy foods. Um, eggs have the lutein in them, um, special carotenoids which are great for your eyes. Uh, astaxanthin, which is found in salmon and certain types of fish, is an excellent potent antioxidant which has been shown beneficial for the eyes. And, you know, you got other fruits and vegetables. I would also probably recommend something to improve the circulation to the eye. So it's something like kind pepper ginkgo biloba, they would all come in handy when trying to improve natural eyesight. So there's many different natural supplements and things and herbs and foods out there that are really great for your eyes. And I think another really great one to mention is goji berries. Um, I got my mom actually eating goji berries and the last two times she's gone to the eye doctor, her vision actually improved. And she did nothing else. She changed nothing else in her diet. And she wears glasses, so she didn't even stop wearing the glasses. But her vision actually did improve. So goji berries are very powerful um, at helping to improve eyesight. It's one of their benefits that they list by consuming them. Because they're loaded with vitamin A, um, you know, carrots. That's another one I forgot to mention is carrots. They're loaded with beta carotene, which is really good for vision. So just including a lot of these different things in your diet, doing the exercises, reducing eye strain, using smaller font, and make sure that you wear those pinhole readers 15 minutes every day, and you'll be well on your way to avoiding eyeglasses, hopefully, for the rest of your life. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please like, favorite, and subscribe.